So inner transition is the transition we need to make on the inside as we shift from our present unsustainable, destructive, competitive, consumer-based way of living to something that's much more connected, where we're connected with ourselves, with each other, with our community and with the environment and the landscape in which we live. In transition, we invite people to vision the future that they want. Uh, and one aspect of that is how we're going to meet our physical needs, how we get our energy and our food and our shelter and the sustenance that we need for a good life. But there's also another kind of transition, which is how do we get our inner satisfaction? You know, what gives us meaning in life? How do our relationships work? How do we make decisions together? So there's something about the inner journey that we also could vision. What does a healthy, connected, vibrant, sustainable community look like? And what does it feel like on the inside to be part of that? So if that's our vision for the post-transition world on the inside, the question for inner transition is, how do we get there? What does it look like? And what's the pathway to get to that different way of living together and making meaning and finding satisfaction in life with less material uh, consumption? But, but in a transition, for me, brings the good news that material affluence is not what makes us happy as human beings. So there's research that shows that beyond just getting our subsistence needs met, increasing amounts of material consumption doesn't improve the quality or the satisfaction in our lives. So, so the inner transition is part of what we really need to understand. What is it about us as humans that enables us to, to feel connected, that our lives are meaningful, that our relationships are satisfying and rich. Um, so in a transition points to this whole aspect of the transition that we're making, where there are real benefits to be gained about having much more satisfying human lives. The is that there's a whole uh, global movement for spiritual growth and personal development and awakening. And there's also huge movements for ecological, environmental, social and political change. And inner transition is like where those two movements meet. So as we make these necessary changes to live in a sustainable way on the planet, what happens inside us and how can we support ourselves to make those changes in a really good way? So inner transition as part of a transition uh, initiative, as part of a community making this transition, will look like people taking care of themselves, so taking time out from the stress and the possible overwhelm of uh, dealing with these enormous challenges that we're facing, people supporting each other, people bringing really good skills in facilitation to have meetings where people leave feeling more energised than they started. Um, it's people spending time out in nature or um, with each other or making or expressing themselves. It's about bringing art and beauty into the ways that we work. So that what we're doing as we make this really intense and demanding journey also feels satisfying and nourishing on every level of our being.